Hi family, this is Drea Beta, coyote walking in this world. Real life, a slot of pop with superhero. <laughs> I'm on an impossible mission, family, and you know this coyote does five impossible things every month. Five impossible things. <laughs> I'm just saying, family. I'm just saying. Wow, this coyote gets a lot of warnings on Facebook about bullying because I talk about it because I was bullied family, but that does not mean um, that I'm trying to share my experiences to make sure that it doesn't happen with any for anyone else family. We're trying to ensure the safety and security of all of our loved ones from around the world. So what am I doing family? I have to make some phone calls and I have PTSD. And guess what? It's scary telling your story over and over and over again of what happened to you. It triggers my trauma. It literally triggers my trauma family. Um, it makes me very uncomfortable and it can induce panic attacks. Um, I've been kind of going, going, going since about four o'clock this afternoon with plots and getting ready and doing film and writing letters and reaching out to my family and scheduling meetings and taking donations. Ah! <laughs> it's been a very, very busy, um, five hours. So I need to take a break soon, family. But before I called it quits, before I spent a little downtime with the love of my life, um, I wanted to make a few phone calls. So what I'm going to do, family, is I need the world to listen to what's happened to this coyote. So I was bullied and harassed um, and subjected to a hostile work environment as chair of the American Educational Research Association, graduates from council, um, and punished for advocating for student rights, um, for a budget, <laughs> for space, for alliances with the World Education Research Association. Um, and that is inhumane family. What happened to me should never happen to anyone else. It made me suicidal in the fall family. And that should never happen to any student. Volunteering to be the chair of the AURA GHC should never make anyone suicidal. I'm telling my story um, up till yesterday too, family. I was able to pay for my indigenous guests. We have via Zoom family because I could no longer afford him. Um, Mr. Gary Farmer, who is an indigenous icon and a superhero of mine. He will be telling and sharing his life story. Um, our theme for the social family is walking the path of our ancestors while pursuing our educational dreams. And he's gonna be talking about his life career family literally representing indigenous people on the big screen. In addition to that family, I am very proud that we are gonna be having Isaac Dakota Casados, who is the chairman of the Native American Democratic Caucus for New Mexico family. He is gonna be doing the opening for the American Educational Research Association Graduate Student Council, Welcome Orientation, and it's the huge event family launching off our amazing 27 sessions that we have, especially hosted by the AUR ADSC for our graduate student attendees. So family, I think it's gonna be amazing. He's also gonna be acting as MC for our social, of which Mr. Farmer will be the keynote. In addition, we have my amazing superhero sis, Kathleen Booth, who is an artist extraordinaire. She's the fashion designer and CEO and owner of Foxfire Designs family. She is a Hopi and Santa Ana designer and she's gonna be bringing 20 original designs, especially for our, our show. She's been sewing and my gammy says that she's one of our angels. She will be bringing three associates of hers, production assistants who will also be modeling and showcasing indigenous um, life indigenous fashions on our big evening family. This is a huge celebration of indigenous life. We're gonna have a DJ, we're gonna have people to help support. Um, and you know what? This coyote has no regrets. But family today, I had to pick between hosting my indigenous guests and feeding my food insecure graduate students. Not fair, not cool. AERA has decided to put profits before people. I asked for more time because I am soliciting donations to take the 11,135 in 37 humanizing COVID relief registrations that the GSC was trying to do, was trying to support because these amazing panelists, 
um, requested the support at the time we had the funding, requested the support. Um, and family, we are currently being charged $525 to have one of our amazing um, fellow academics speak for our students. And again, family, I would like to reiterate that this is funding that A, right, would not have gotten because these speakers due to the differential in price between the United States and African and Asian countries, as well as the fact that in order to be a full member, as well as a conference attendee, one would have to pay $700. That is over a month's salary um, for African countries for full, full professors family. I'm saying full professors in African countries make between 450 and $500 a month. And that makes them the 1% in their country. So I'm saying family, the American Educational Research Association is putting profits before people and I need help. So what am I doing family? You're my safety net. I'm gonna be making some phone calls because <laughs> I need help. I need $5,000. So what am I doing? I had my amazing family come over last weekend. Shout out to my nephews, Radu and Rindra, and my amazing niece, Ripsy, my brother, Todd, my mama, Tiger, my mama, Bear, who provided all the food family. My two mamas are lovely. My amazing partner, Neil, who saves me every day, family. My sis, Alex, my sis, Carolyn. Um, oh my gosh, who else came over, family? We had a full house. It was wonderful for two days, but what we did was we looked up all of these contact lists and we're gonna put them to good use. We have made a donation letter for our indigenous family. We have made a donation letter for Feed Our Graduate Students and they will be going out family. All of these letters and donations and love will be going out to the universe. So you're my witness family. I'm gonna make some phone calls right now and leave some voicemails. And what we're asking for and what I'm gonna provide for you all, sorry family. <laughs> I can't see. I know I can't see. All right, so what we're doing is I'm leaving number messages on all these numbers saying who I am and asking for their support. We are calling all of the professors in the University of New Mexico family. That's what's happening right now. That's what's happening. Hello, my name is Drea Beta, coyote walking in this world, real life, a subtle public superhero. I'm a ninth year PhD candidate in the University of New Mexico in the Language, Literacy and Social Culture Studies Department. I'm currently chair of the American Educational Research Association Graduate Student Council. I have been defunded by AURA's council, particularly, ex particularly by Felice Levine. We would like your support. I have been um, put in the situation of choosing between hosting our indigenous guests or feeding our food insecure graduate students. Please support the graduate students from around the world who will be attending the conference um, and telling AURA that this is not acceptable. If you would like to make a donation on behalf of your department, um, I have a $5,000 funding goal for the University of New Mexico. Um, please contact me at aabeita03 at unm.edu. Thank you so much. Um, we also are doing a campaign on social media. You can follow us at, at Dre, D R E, Abeta, A B E I T A. Thank you so much for your support and thank you for all you do for the University of New Mexico. One phone call down, family. One phone call down. Mm, let's see how many more I can get in. <laughs> let's do this for six more minutes, okay? Six more minutes. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. All right, family. Let's do the next one. You know what I should do? I should do the chairs. I should do the chairs. That's what we're doing, family. I'm going to do the chairs of the departments first, and then I can write them off my list. It's kind of 
scary calling people though, right? And asking for help. <laughs> Hello, this is Drea Beta, Coyote Walking in this World, real life, a subtle public superhero. Proud two spirited indigenous warrior. I'm currently a ninth year doctoral candidate in the LLSS department here at the University of New Mexico and chair of the American Educational Research Association Graduate Student Council. This morning, I was defunded by Lori Diane Hill, the Associate Executive Director of AERA, and Felice Levine, the Executive Director of AERA. I'm being chose, I am being forced to choose between feeding my graduate students or supporting the honorary men travel for our Indigenous guests who are coming to uh, celebrate Indigenous life as part of our social at the world's largest educational institution. If you would like to show support, please contact AERA. Um, it's lhill at aera.net or flevine at aera.net. You can also choose to make a donation on part of your department. Um, I have a 5,000 fundraising goal for the University of New Mexico, or you can contact me at my email, aabeita03 at unm.edu. Thank you very much and have a good day. Two down, family. I'm going to mark. I'm going to mark off. Marking them off. Marking them off. I did this one, and I did this one. Whew. Now I'm gonna do this one. <laughs> we got this family, we got this. Phone call number three, phone call number three. I think it needs to be shorter, right? I'm taking too long, right, family? That's good advice. I'll try shorter. I hope it goes to voicemail soon. Well, that one just kept ringing and ringing. So that was my University of New Mexico list family, but now I'm going to go to my fair media contact list. So let's try a couple media contacts. Let's try ABC. I can do ABC News. Do, 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 two, five, six, seven, seven, seven. Let's try that. Oops. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, family, I was missing a number. Four, five, six, seven, 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 seven. Boom. <laughs> All right, try this. ABC News. Sure. Okay, that does not sound like ABC News, does it? One, two, one, two, four, five, six, seven, zero, zero, zero. Let's try that. Thank you for calling WABC TV, ABC 7 in New York. Our regular business hours are 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., Monday to Friday. To report a breaking news story, press 1. For 7 to your side, press 2. If you know the name of the person you're trying to reach, press 4 to dial by name. For all other matters, please call back during regular fitness hours. Please hold to hear this information again. 
I'm trying to press the button, family. Thank you for calling WABC TV, ABC 7 in New York. Our regular business hours are 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., Monday through Friday. To report a breaking news oh, story, press 1. For 7 on your side, press 2. If you know the name of the person you're trying to read, press 4 to dial by name. For all other matters, please call back. Why won't you take my one? Okay, that was a bus family, but I'm gonna try the next one. Oh, the timer went off. Try one more. <laughs> two, one, two, nine, seven, five, four, three, two, one. Let's try this one family. CBS News. We'll see what happens. Ooh, we got a long list. It's going to be fine, family. We got this. We got this. One call at a time. One phone call. Oh my gosh, Emily, that had so many good numbers. I'm going to have to call them again and write all those down. But you know what? I've been going for about six hours now, and I'm pretty pooped out, and I need to take a rest because tomorrow is another big day. Don't forget, family, this coyote is going to be at Old Town in Albuquerque, New Mexico. <gasps> okay, my sage just went whoosh. My sage ashes just went whoosh on the floor. But that's okay, family. I am going to be at Old Town in Albuquerque, New Mexico from 10 to 2 tomorrow, family, taking donations in person to help support my amazing celebration of just life. <laughs> and to feed the hungry graduate students. Ah, I love you all. Have a good evening. And I'll see you soon.